OpenQM Enterprise presents Modern Data Center and System Management with the OpenQM Cloud Computing Platform. My name is Matt Reschenberg. I'm the Project Manager of the OpenQM Project and CEO of the OpenQM Enterprise Company. Together with my partners Andre Westbonk, Directory of Marketing and Product Management, and Christoph Muller, CTO, we founded OpenQM Enterprise as the support company behind the OpenQM Project. OpenQM Enterprise offers professional services, long-term support, customization, branding, training and more. We are the people behind the OpenQM project and we know every bit of this powerful and feature-rich single management console for your data center and IT services. We have created this video to show you some new features of the OpenQM cloud computing platform. Here for example the OpenQRM Cloud, with its own configuration panel, where you can define your data center products and their pricing. Next is a new private cloud image feature, which allows mapping of specific server images to users. And all functionalities of the OpenQRM Cloud Portal are also available as a SOAP web service, so it is easy to integrate it into existing business processes. Basically, you get a full remote control for the OpenCAM Cloud. Different deployment plugins assisting you with creating server images from ready-made templates. A new Amazon EC2 integration allows to export servers to EC2 and also to import AMIs to deploy them in your private data center. The integration with Puppet provides you with a fully automated configuration management for your server systems. OpenQRM keeps your data center running and automatically cares about high availability for your services. See how easy it is to configure high availability for an appliance. There are several monitoring options available in OpenQRM. You can choose from CollectD, Nagios and Zabbix by simply enabling the specific monitoring plugin. Here a quick overview about the system statistics and graphs created by the CollectD plugin. A lot more functionality and automatisms are available via additional plugins, taking care of, for example, IP address assignment, managing DNS resolving and integration of existing systems. OpenQRM supports AOE, NFS, iSCSI, NetApp, Equalogic and ZFS storage servers and even provides own storage types based on LVM for rapid snapshotting and cloning of server images. With OpenQRM you can enjoy the full bandwidth of all mainstream virtualization technologies such as VMware, Citrix Xen Server, Xen and KVM. Plus OpenQRM also deploys your physical machines in the same way as your virtual ones. Here we quickly create a new KVM virtual resource in our data center. Transparently migrate from physical systems to virtual machines. Seamlessly migrate virtual machines back to physical systems. OpenQRM is much more than just a cloud. With OpenQRM, you always have the full control of your complete IT environment. Here, for example, we online snapshot our production web server. Then we create a new server image from the snapshot. And after that, we create a new user in the OpenQRM cloud and assign the snapshot for further debugging to this specific user, who can now request the snapshot of the production system via the cloud portal. This new feature is called Private Images in OpenQRM. Here we define the new image configuration and its root file system.
Now we create the new cloud user. And finally assign the new image via the private image feature to the specific user. Via the OpenQRM Cloud Portal, the user can now request this dedicated private image from the cloud. The new data center overview provides lots of useful overall statistics. Here are a few impressions from its functionalities to find the top computing resources in your data center. Cool that OpenCurum even works on your mobile phone so that you can access your data center from nearly everywhere. Here another cloud use case. We create a special best price offer for our cloud users. 8 CPU systems now available. Then we sort this new product up in the user's request form to make it more attractive. Please notice that we are here switching from the administration interface of OpenQRM where we define the cloud products to the cloud users view in the request form. As you like, you can sort your cloud products or, after some time, disable them if they got deprecated. Here, OpenQRM's famous Visual Cloud Designer. All data center objects are located in the object browser in the left column. By simply drag and drop, those system components can be constructed to a cloud appliance. Here we pick a KVM virtual machine, a 64-bit Ubuntu server image, a Ubuntu 64-bit kernel, two CPUs, some memory, a few network cards, we set the disk space, add two applications, a web server and webmin, and we need two of those and they should be high available. Now we also set the start and end time for our request. After creating the system, we quickly check the hourly, daily and monthly costs. Ok, let's request those systems from the OpenQRM Cloud. Simple. We hope you enjoyed this video. Many thanks for your time. Please visit openqrmenterprise.com for more detailed information about our service offerings.